Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station. On this episode, we will be evaluating this Lego Ninjago um, Season 16 The Crystal King. Pretty badass looking set, I might say so myself. Before I get any further, and I before I do my normal spiel, I'd like to say thanks to all you guys. We've hit 75 subscribers. And uh, hopefully we're working our way up to 100. Uh, that's going to be a big one. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to want to hit there. Um, got a lot to think about with that. Um, I don't know how fast we'll get there. Maybe you guys will surprise me and we'll get there really fast. But I will um, start thinking about that now. <laughs> um, but for those who are new to this channel, please subscribe. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, just to let you know, I do uh, in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, both new and old, mostly Lego, but I do other products as well. Um, I also do reviews and discussions of other creative works, such as movies, cartoons, and video games. So, because they are in-depth reviews, they tend to be on the long side. So, there are timestamps embedded here on the little red bar or down in the description that you can use to jump around to the parts you want to see the most or to use as uh, uh, bookmarks so you can come back to it at a later time and finish up the video. And uh, this, we are, we are done with all the smaller sets. We are going to be moving into the bigger sets. Uh, so they are going to be on the longer side bigger, awesomer sets. Although some of those small sets were pretty cool too. But, look at that closer. They, they, you know, I was looking on this on the LEGO website, and it's just a white background, and it looks so awesome like that. I mean, yeah, it looks cool with all the special effects, but it looks fine without them. I think they overdid the special effects for the, the you know, for the boxes and the promotional material uh, but he looks really cool and i look forward to putting together it's actually bad guy set there's only one ninja in this set which i find amusing um but yeah this is pretty darn cool uh, but get down to its details it's uh set number 71772 it's for ages nine and up. Uh, it has 722 pieces and retails for was it 79? Yes, 79.99 on the Lego website, and they currently have it available. If it's unavailable for any reason, they should be back in because it's just released here in August 1st, summer 2022. So. I don't know what more to say. It's also the only set with Lloyd I've gotten so far. It doesn't show up until the bigger sets this time around. <laughs> but uh, let's go open her up, see what's inside, and put it together. Here we have the contents of the box. We have a yeah, pretty thick uh, book, but it's a uh, magazine size, as you see here. And it comes with a couple stickers. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, seven stickers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. And we don't have a golden weapons parts bag. That's a little disappointing, but I guess there's none of them used in here, considering this is a bad guy set. Um, the bad guy. Here we have the contents of bag one. Of course, we have our our uh, obligatory uh, brick separator in the first bag. Some trans pink pieces here and some bigger ones here. Some plates. We have some 
oddball colored pieces, probably for some internal structures. I hope. <laughs> we have a lot of studs and side pieces. Not too surprising. Both the top down and the bottom up versions. We have Avenged Stone Warrior and Lloyd is in this set. Um, we've got one of these crystal pieces, probably for a weapon for the Venge Stone. Um, some of these in transparent pink. And a few widgets and whatnot. Not too much in this first bag. Doesn't feel like any particular bag has a lot of pieces. Here is the contents of bag two, and I must say there really are not a lot of pieces here at all. Some more uh, studs on side pieces, the smaller bottom up ones. And we have some the larger ones in purple, top down. Got some hinge pieces here. Technic brick, a lot of little pins. More Technic pieces here, some small plates. That's it. That's bag two. Here's the contents of bag three. We're back to having a whole bunch more parts. We have a lot of hinges in here. A lot of black pieces. Some purple ones. Got more studs on side pieces. Including purple ones that are top down while we have bottom up black ones. Got some weird colored stuff, probably for more internal parts. We have another of the bad guys here. Harmi, I think her name is. Their name is. Harmi. That's a female name. Japanese female name, I think. Got a lot of smaller widgets and stuff. We got a bunch of those crystal swords and we also have uh, these in transparent pink. Some gold teeth pieces. That is bag three. Here we have the contents of bag four. I've got a cockpit piece in here. I didn't realize this guy was even a a a, a, a could have a, a, pilot, a piloted uh, thing. I thought it was just a large creature, um, but that's kind of cool. Um, got a lot of these gold arms. These in gold, these in gold, these in that uh, pinkish purple color. The name escapes me. Got another Vengeance Warrior. Lots of these uh, pink crystal pieces. Purple two by two rounds, it's a bunch of gold pieces. Now, these are interesting. Haven't seen pieces like this since uh, Monkey Kid uh, the Bull Warriors. There's a couple of them in there. I don't think that's a new color for them, though. Um, said gold pieces. We got some gold claws. They only have one of these in pink clear pink. We have two black hot dog pieces. I'm surprised to see them. Never know when they're going to show up. Yeah, that is bag four. We are over halfway done. Here we are at bag number five. Got a lot of studs on side pieces. The uh, one by fours. And a uh, little one by twos. In black, a lot of them as well. There's a lot of different pieces and duplicates in here, although I think those were the most. Well, well, there's quite a few of these. We got these new um, angle pieces, I guess that's what we'll call them, angle pieces, in purple. Inside colored pieces, there's a lot of these in here. Couple of those. Anything. Got some nice curvy purse pieces. More transparent little pyramids. They didn't sort out very well, but they're there. Some other weird yellow 
inside pieces most likely. So one of the white ones. A lot of good amount of pieces in this bag. This is bag number six. There's a lot of pieces that are similar from the last um, bag, although not quite as many. Got plenty of hinges. We have two of these uh, newer pieces. I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> Got a lot of these gold arms, which are probably fingers for these hands. That'll probably be the hands. There's a lot more of these in here. Got a lot of those. More studs on side pieces. I already looked at the bigger ones, but these are a lot of smaller ones as well. Small picks, uh, smaller hinges. We have some transparent magenta 1x2s, and we have tons of solid magenta 1x2s. Some more of the pyramids in 1x2s, one by, or one, one by two, but in magenta. Transparent magenta. Got these studs on side pieces in purple. We also have a whole bunch of claws in purple. Some gold block pieces. And that is bag six. Here we are at the last and final bag. We got some Technic pins. Got a whole bunch of these large pink crystals. Well, a whole bunch, three anyways. Um, that may have been a bit of exaggeration. Um, we got a lot of small hinges and joints of different kinds. More of these uh, Nexo Knights shield pieces. A lot of purple plates. And a lot of these 2x2 two two one studded plates. Bunch of angle brackets. A lot of small little fiddly things. We got a bunch of pink pyramids, transparent. Some pink transparent crystals, some pink transparent cones, a transparent pink lightning bolt of all things. Some transparent pink swords. We have the Crystal King himself here. And we got some more of those horn pieces from the Tor. The, uh, Bull people from a monkey kid. This is where they first appeared. We got a bunch of there they are. <laughs> transparent uh, power blast pieces. Probably for the thunderbolt, I suppose. Yeah, this is the last bag. Let's go finish this up. Here are our leftover pieces, and there's a lot of good stuff here. We got gold swords clear pink swords we've got a uh, purple tooth claw piece we got a golden wand or rod piece we even got an extra burnt hot dog black hot dog piece um have a few of these too and uh, we have a black um rod as well lots of good stuff here left over including some of those horn pieces and we also have our brick separator. Um, the only thing I wish we had left over were some more of those pink crystal sword things. Not these, not the katana, but the other weird crystal swords. Um, didn't have any leftovers of those, sadly enough. Here we have part of our cast of characters for this set. We will be... I got... Basically, the grunts here and Lloyd. We still have two other named characters that we will do in a moment here, but I only have so much room for so many characters. This set definitely has a lot of figures. Um, so, we got Lloyd here, and this is a standard uniform pretty much for the ninjas this season. Although, you actually don't see too many of these figures in the sets. There's the uh, so far I've put together the uh, the tower and that one has all of the four original ninjas in this basic suit. This is the only one with him in this suit. All the other sets have either golden or golden dragon 
ninja suits um, except for some of the bigger ones which I haven't gotten to yet we'll look at them soon um, but yeah so th this, this is uh, the basic one and funny enough he doesn't even have a golden ninja suit like uh, the other ones do um, but he's a special case because I know he's got some really zooped up power up one powered up uh, costume in the uh, the dragon uh, which we'll look at that eventually but right now we're dealing with this um, so yeah he, it's pretty basic he's got his sword there from the show although he's also got an extra golden katana there too I, I, I don't know why he's got both um, now over here with the Venge Stone guards and these are both Venge Stone guards at least by the box but this guy is like a greater guard or something you know maybe a supervisor because he's got crystal armor and he's got a different torso with different arms he's it looks like he's got more crystal to him so uh i don't know he's a supervisor guard i guess um still doesn't have a name he's just called the venge stowed guard uh but Let's take off their gear and get a closer look at their prints. Here they are all stripped down from their paraphernalia. And uh, get a much better look at that, that print job there. There. Very nice on Lloyd. Um, I got his goofy face here. Usually I do it the other way around. Put their mean, their angry face on the front. Uh, but... Uh, and here are the Avenged Stone Warriors. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference. This guy's got a lot more crystal in him. I, mean, I believe he's the you know, supervisor, superior one. He's got two crystal arms as opposed to his one. Um, the legs are the same. But yeah, the chest, you can see his whole chest is all crystal. Well, this guy's only got like half. He's only half changed or whatever from stone or however these guys are created. Um... And flipping over the back, you'll see the same thing going on there as his whole back, upper back is crystallized. And this guy's, well, percent wise, it looks about the same, but you can see what they're going with that. It looks like it's, it's still changing. Um, and Lloyd over here, definitely. Sorry about that. Let's uh, do that again. Lloyd over here definitely looks uh, snazzy. His back of him. Is that face on wrong or do I have it on wrong? Oh. Yeah. So the head is, is printed off. I didn't notice it putting it together. It is off kilter. Just a little bit. Um, not a big deal. But is something to note that they screwed up on um looks fine though and the back looks good just like the front yeah because there he is with his crooked face and that's perfectly straight yeah so they missed the mark a little bit there but that's still pretty good figures all around let's go check out the other two here we have our other two characters from the set we have of course, the Crystal King, and then we have, I'm sure I pronounce it right, Harumi. Now, I've seen this character in other sets, older sets. I don't know much about him. Um, she, uh, I think it's a she. Uh, definitely looks cool. Um, we're going to strip them down, see what they look like, though here in just a moment but uh the interesting i love the the like samurai ham, helmet with the mask and that's openable or openable but yeah posable and can be opened <clears throat> now this crystal king is i don't know if it's supposed to be a powered down version because the the one in the the big tower He's got bigger horns. He's also got the extra arm piece and stuff like that going on. So I, I take it he's not as powerful here or he's simply compacted down a little bit so he can fit inside the actual mech 
um, which I didn't even realize it was a mech. I thought it was supposed to be some kind of creature until I put it together, but we'll look at that here shortly. Um, I was rather surprised, uh, but we'll get to that. But yeah, it might be smaller just so he can fit in there or he's powered down. I said, don't know the entire story of what's going on here. Just know that this figure is a lot different than the bigger, intimidating, four-armed figure from the the, uh, the tower set. Uh, but uh, let's uh, strip them down of all their peripherals here and uh, take a closer look at some of them details. Here they are, stripped down of all the gear. And you can see better the chest pieces and stuff much better. Do some have a similar uh, purple crystal on their chest. So uh, definitely different colors here. I like the black and purple on this one. Although there's nothing wrong with the gold here and the skeletal uh, rib cage looking effect looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like supposed to be like a red paint splashed on her face. It's like it's not very opaque, but if it's supposed to be just like a splotch of paint, it actually looks okay. You know, hmm, just something to think about. Like, I wonder if they did that on purpose. The opacity of that, because it, it, the yellow is definitely bleeding, bleeding through that red there a little bit. Um, but got his big ugly face there. Very scary. Then we turn to the back. He's got some printing on the back of his head, but nothing more. We continue along with that rib cage design. He has some spinal cord, you know, spine looking stuff there. And here she is with her angry face. And uh, that red again looks kind of cool, like war paint. Um, and the back looks just like as good as the front. Really no complaints there. So yeah, these are all pretty good figures, except for the non-printing um, uh, Lloyd's face a little off. That's it. We've got everything assembled here, and as you can see, we definitely have a bad guy set, and Lloyd being the only good ninja here. Um, we looked at all the figures, so we are going to brush them all aside, except for the Crystal King, because we are going to use him for in a little bit. And uh, let's bring this closer. And we'll look mainly at the big guy here. First, <clears throat> like I said, I said in the uh, figure review, did not really realize that this was a mech. I thought it was just some kind of creature because don't really see a cockpit, but there is a cockpit in here because this opens, this opens, and this all opens up, and there is a cockpit. That opens up. I like that. Pretty cool, huh? Well, and this guy folds his legs up. We gotta get rid of his weapons. There's no weapon storage. Could maybe throw them in there with him, but there's two studs there for him to sit on. And you close it all the way back up, and he's ready to roll. And there's little belt piece things. Kind of cool. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty nifty there. Um, besides that, this guy's got plenty of posability, though not as much as it first appears. And uh, start taking a close look at that, starting with the head here, since it's here. Um, his head's on a ball joint, but there's a secondary joint as well. So if you want to make him look up higher, like so, you can. He's got a second joint, as you can see right there. It's more to get his neck into the appropriate position. Um, but, you know, if you want him to 
stand up just a, maybe a little bit taller, look a little bit more intimidating, you can do that. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad like that. Um, maybe even a little bit better than his um, neck down all the way. But uh, yeah, ball joint there, so it's got full posability. I love the build for the head. Use of these horn pieces for his eyes are just, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe how well it works. Uh, this whole thing has so many neat techniques in it. I've already shown you how this opens up, and I love the, the rib cage look here. Um, it matches the Demon Lord, the actual figure as well. Now his arms are on click hinges, ratchet joints. He's got plenty of movement there. He's on regular ball bang joints for the elbow. The wrist, it does swivel, although it's a little sticky. There's a, let's see if I can move it up here. There we go. There's a mixel joint there. You can see. So it can swivel and can even, you know, pose there. So it's got essentially a fully posable wrist. Fingers pose, and he's got these awesome purple claws. That looks so good with the gold and the purple. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, and also, on the hands, which which is how he's holding the staff in the other hand, there are clips in here. So you can uh, use them to have him hold on to certain weapons. He holds onto rods. Now, shoulders got shoulder pad has a joint here, so if you need to move it out of the way you can but uh, it actually fully rotates without having to move that it's more moved into position um, you only need to worry about moving it when you're trying to do something like that um, so it's pretty nice he designed um, his staff is like I said He's holding on by those pegs and uh, just some rods and stuff put together. This is kind of neat here how they use Technic rods here and then use these uh, cones to shrink it down to a regular regular Lego rod and uh, that he can grip onto easy enough. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet that way. Now, moving on to the back. Let's see the back of him here. He's very got a good hold on here. But he's got wings back here, and they are not on a ball joint. They can only move in and out. And depending on where his arm is, is how far they can move out. They can move all the way flush if his arms are all the way down. But when they move out, they bump into the shoulder here, which I guess you could you could move the shoulder pad out of the way. But it bumps into the shoulder pad, so it doesn't get doesn't go quite as flush. Um, else, the back here note is his tail, which this is click joint there, but the rest of it is all uh, all joints until you get to the very tip. Oh wait, the tip is too. Yeah, this is all ball joints. And uh, it's only a click hinge uh, right there at the base. Now, his legs. This is where things get interesting. Actually, before I go on, while we're looking at the back, this right here is really neat how they did this joint. There are, it's actually used some different hinge pieces. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, and it's too hard to really tear apart. But there's a... They, they both use hinges that rely on um, pegs. But this is an older alligator hinge, I guess you would call it. And it has just a little bit bigger neck. So it pushes it out a little bit further this way than the one here, which is, uses a different... Um, hinge type um, well as a different neck on it so there's only about you know, yay difference between this and this 
and because of that and their their distance away from each other you create this really nice curve by the way this is a great place to hold it too and this guy is very sturdy you don't have a lot of things falling off unless you you know mess around with them too much and and bump them around so it's a very nice set and built very sturdy now the back legs he's got click hinges ratcheted joints forward and back there and there and there is no knee here it's just an implied knee but he does have ankle joints and uh, they're just on a ball joint the toes do wiggle a little bit in and out if you need them to although I don't know if they're supposed to be toes or hooves if they're supposed to be hooves you don't really want to move it anyways but they can move um, if you want a different like splayed toe like that I think they look good just like that and they look kind of like a hoof um, front legs are now these are something interesting there is no joint at the hip there is no joint at the knee there is only an ankle joint these are in fixed positions so he's not gonna be standing like this <laughs> uh, straight up and down I mean he is essentially straight up and down but what you can do is there well I haven't tried this with the front legs because I had him standing up before but he could yeah he can rear up but, yeah, I don't, I don't think that if they can quite hold his weight. Um, the front legs are too much. Uh, but you can pose them around too much, a uh, little bit using the different... It's like the front legs don't move, just the feet. So the angle can change with how the back feet are so this guy isn't quite as posable as he appears but he's still really fun to play with I know there's probably gonna be a lot of people out there like oh oh well it, it doesn't pose he doesn't even have hips so he's not in the front um, but I mean they could have given him but you would be monkeying around with all these these four legs trying to get him to stand just right Meanwhile, they have this in more of a fixed stance, and quite frankly, it's a pretty cool looking stance. And uh, the only thing you adjust is the heels, which is enough to, to change the direction. I mean, you can get him to stand just on his front legs like that. He looks kind of like he's running like that. So the, that's, that's actually not too bad, you know. Not too bad at all. Um, one leg? No, nah, I wouldn't be able to. Well, maybe. Let's, let's, let's try. Let's be adventurous here. Let's see if he can stand on one foot. I bet you he can if you balance him right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's standing on one leg. Pretty cool. I mean, there's not a lot of poses you can do with that, but you can do it. And all that just from an ankle. Ankle movement. All right. Uh, let's see. I think we covered all the joints. Yep. Yeah, there, there are so many neat little techniques uh, embedded in this to get certain shapes and stuff. Now, there are some other things that move, like these just... There's, it's supposed to look like armor um, some armor joints here and there like his belt and some of the pieces that you move out of the way to get to the cockpit but yeah he's really cool I well I'll talk about that more at the desk but uh, yeah he's really cool um, let's uh, go back to that desk and give him a final eval while we're at it we're back here at the desk. Give this my final thoughts and final review. As far as my final thoughts are, I absolutely love this set. Um, there's one, maybe two issues I have with it. 
they're pretty minor, but overall, I think it's a great set. And I'll talk about those issues as we go through the uh, eval. Um, so let's start. As far as appearance goes, this thing looks great. All the figures are great. This thing is great. My only single gripe, and it's not that bad, is they feel like there's a lot more gray on here than I thought there would be. I thought it would be more black, but it's a dark gray. And considering some of the special effects on the box, which I don't have with me, it's out. It's not here. <laughs> I thought it is. Um, it, 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 it's not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be, which is okay. It just kind of changed the color scheme for me a little bit. But overall, it works. It also helps with some of the other things like the, the mixel joints used in the tail or whatever. So it blends together if it was all black and then it would just have this jarring bright gray or something like that going on. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, I love the looks of this set. Other than that slight color change I wasn't quite expecting. Um, you, you notice it more, actually, if you look on the back from the front. You get more of a grayish and black kind of combo, but when you look towards the back, it, there's a lot more gray there. It, it's not a really bad thing, and I'm not even going to change my grade for the appearance, which is going to get a 10. So, uh, as far as appearance, it's getting a 10. On to function. Now, it's a giant robot. It doesn't move as much as you it was appear to move. Like it, there's not as much posability in the arms and stuff. There's plenty of movement in the leg, or I got that backwards. There's not as much movement in the legs. There is plenty of movement in the arms. But what you have with the legs and everything else, as I showed in the the main part of the reveal, there there's still a lot of neat things you can do with this. And uh, despite already bent joints, like these are using the, the, his front knees, are using those permanently bent pieces. There's no joint, actual joint there. But it looks good the way it is and stands really good. And yes, there's no hip movement even in the front. And that actually helps with play. So you're not fiddling around with all these legs trying to get him to stand. He can be much more sturdier. Still looks good. He's still posable. I got him to even stand on one leg, um, the, the front legs. I don't think the back legs can quite handle handle the uh, the weight of the rest of it. But, uh, yeah. Now, that that's just the posability. There, there's other things to the function. And that was just the legs. There's, there's, it's posable all over. The tail's great. Wings could have maybe, I don't know, they work for what they need. They could have been on a ball joint maybe and moved up and down. But they look fine like this. And then you can move them to get them out of the way or look more intimidating, spread out or something like that. Uh, I don't know how this thing flies with these wings. It would be nice if maybe they put like rockets or something on the wings. It would make it a little bit more believable that they're functioning wings and not just for show. Uh, but the really other great thing, I mean, it's got fully posable head. Like I said, the arms are fully posable. Even it's got good wrist movement. Um, yeah. Uh, and the only other thing is the cockpit. I think the cockpit is really cool. How it's all covered up and you don't really see it. You think it's just some kind of pink crystal going along with the whole thing. But there's actually, uh, there's a pilot. Or you can put a pilot in there, including the, the Demon King himself. So, as as far as function goes, it got a 10. Hands down, 10. Now, fun. This thing is a lot of fun to just move around, pose around, play play with. and But this is a bad guy set. And uh, so you really need another set to play with this. And on top of that, I know it's a bad guy set, and it's quite the army builder. We got four bad guys here. But we only get one in Ninja. And 
I feel like, yes, I know this is a bad guy set. And I want to talk a little bit more about the bad guy set um, at the end. But I think we could have had at least one more ninja or good guy, even if you put that Wu in here or something. Just, just to, to, to... He feels very lonely in this set compared with all the other <laughs> bad guys around. Uh, you know, it may not be perfectly balanced, but it could have used an, another figure. That's ultimately where I'm going to give it a 9. Other than that, it's plenty of fun to play with. And yes, you're going to need something else to play with it. You know, because it's just the bad guy set. Which we'll talk about more at the end, because it's not really relevant. But I do have something to say about that. At least with regards to Ninjago. Um... So yeah, fun got a nine. Technique, there's so many neat things here. I talked about how they get the, the, the angle here for his uh, back, um, his, uh, you know, centaur body type thing going on, shaping in the legs. Um, this head, how it's built, the, the, the what they parts used for the eyes, uh, the, the same thing goes for the chest and how that's built and the arms look great and ugh, just so many little things that made this really good and really sturdy. He's quite sturdy. That guy just doesn't stand well. He's going to have to stay down there for now. Um, but yeah, Technique got a 10 also on this one. This this is really nice set. And uh, yeah, Technique 10, Appearance 10, Function 10, Fun a 9. But still, you add that all up, you get 39, divide by 4, you get a 9.75 set. Yeah, 9.75. Oh, it sounded funny when I said it. Um, and uh, we round that up to a full 10. So it is getting a 10 for sure. Not a solid 10, but a 10 just the same. Now, as far as price goes, you take, what was it? 79 or 74? 79.99, you divide it by 722 point parts. And you get 11 cents per piece, which is not just slightly above um, st um, the standard 10 piece, 10 cents per piece, which really isn't bad at all. And considering there's some larger pieces here, plus quite a few figures, it's really good price, a decent price. And overall, this is a great set. After all, it got a 10, and it's really cool. Um, so, as far as the price goes, it got a G for good. Uh, really don't have problems with the price. Um, I'd like to set another figure or even remove one of the guards and switch it out for a ninja. That would be good too. So you wouldn't have to change the price any. Uh, but that gives us a final eval grade. I need that. Yeah. That gives us a final evaluation of a 10G. So this is a really good set, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, this is a bad guy set. And something we haven't had in a while is a straight-up bad guy set. I can't really think of one, unless you... You consider the was it the chaos dragon or the dark lords dragon that came out in the legacy last year but generally we don't get something and that that was that's a legacy yeah legacy um that was something people wanted anyways and they kind of gave us but generally we don't get a bad guy set anymore you know, back in the day, you had the the vehicles for the Bowen guys and stuff. You had you had the snake vehicles, and even later on, you had uh, some of the other bad guys actually had vehicles. 
and you had bad guy sets with just a couple ninjas in there to fight him. They don't get that anymore. They just focus on the ninja stuff. And I know it's kind of hard because you can make cool sets for both of them. Um, I, I really liked the, the, the bad guy sets before. Yeah, they were themed around the guy. Like, you know, you had the the, the bone guys and the skeleton guys and they were decked out with bones and stuff on their vehicle. And, and then the snake guys were all like had snake heads and things. They were kind of crazy, but they were cool at the same time. I, I know they're, they're, it's, it's, it's kind of corny. Sometimes corny works. And uh, this one is not corny. This one's just awesome. But yeah, I'd like to see more villain sets more often. I mean, as much as I want to see dragons and mechs from our good guys, I'd like to see some of the stuff from the bad guys as well. You know, more motorcycles, cars, even give them a dragon or some other kind of creature. Like, I thought this was a creature. I didn't realize it was a mech until I put it together and I'm building a hollowed out chest piece, um, which is pretty cool how that comes together. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, Overall, how, how what do you think of this season as a whole? And let me know if I got anything wrong since I have not seen it yet. Uh, this is definitely a great set in my book. Um, but, uh, yeah. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to get more content. And hit the notification button so you can be known when I put updates. But... Do that, but also look down below in my description. I have links to um, Facebook and Twitter. You can pick either one or both if you really want to. And follow me on those platforms because I get my notifications out much faster than YouTube does, usually. Um, I would like to see YouTube working much better, but it, it doesn't. So follow me on those as well. And uh, there's also links down there if you're curious and want to buy the set from Lego. You can get the set in retail stores as well. But there's a link there for convenience sake. There's also a link there for um, down to brick set for the set there. So that you can uh, take a closer look at it through there. Although I try to give a pretty good close look at it through these um, reviews but you can also watch other people's reviews and read other people's reviews on the sets and get different opinion um, that's always important so uh, yeah um, and also don't forget to like and definitely leave comments on anything and everything say hi whatever that helps the channel out and uh, that's pretty much it for me here at the creation evaluation station Reminding you that creativity is key.